like me, man. I love the game. I love the hustle, man. Be feeling like one of the ball playing, you know, bird of magic or something. channel i hope you guys are all having a fantastic day we are back with another banger we're gonna be taking delivery of yet another vehicle today So if you guys remember, I ordered this vehicle about three months ago and it's finally here. Everything is pretty much done. I've already put the money down. Everything is done. All I gotta do is go sign the papers and then take the car home. That was refreshing but anyways i need to give you guys a little update on the gt500 i know you guys haven't been seeing it as much especially racing because i've been testing it for the past two weeks and i've been just trying to figure this car out there's a lot of issues with it and they're just tuning issues so the latest issue is the car is pulling a lot of timing when it shifts from third gear to fourth gear which is why I've been noticing it falling on its face up top. So we've been dealing with that. Me and the tuner have been going back and forth. We're at like the fifth tune revision and we still can't figure out why it's doing that. So I promise you guys, it will be back racing. I'm obviously still driving it around, but I don't want to race the car if it's not 100%. But how the hell does this car face the other side of the... Uh, that? Uh, uh, how does that even happen? How is... I think that, I, I don't know. And we're here once again. And there goes the new car right there. You know what I've noticed, guys, is that I know I keep buying the same car over and over, but every color drives differently. I promise you guys, every color does. All right, guys, so now we're gonna go sign some paperwork and then we're gonna be able to take the new car home. We're all done signing and we're gonna be taking home more red keys. Alrighty boys, we're done signing the paperwork. Now it's time to show you guys the car. So here is my 2022 Dodge Charger Hellcat in this beautiful smoke show gray. And we also got red interior. Look at this. Oof, beautiful red leather seats. And the Hellcat symbol right here. Let's close it up. We got these wheels this time, different wheels than what I got on my Hellcat. We also got the sunroof. This is a $83,000 spec. I'll go over everything we got in this. And yeah, it's here. It took about three months to get here, but now we have not one Hellcat, but two. We got another one over there as well. So here's the window sticker, 2022 Charger SRT Hellcat wide body. Starts at 75, ended up at 83. We got the sunroof, we got the smoke show color, which was 400. We got the travel and nav group, and that's pretty much it. The sunroof also was 2000. Gas guzzler tax, 2000, and it came out to $83,000. So now we're gonna be taking this thing home. The official start in the new Hellcat and it has 14 miles it's brand spanking new and it has a full tank of gas which I really appreciate knowing how expensive gas prices are nowadays I hope they didn't put 87 in here I doubt they would put 87 in here and it's hot as heck in here because we don't have any tents <laughs> All right, guys, let me show you guys this view. We don't have one Hellcat, we got two. Look at that. 
Oof, they look so good next to each other. You can see that this thing is literally slammed on the ground. This thing has the stock height. We got different wheels on both. This has these wheels and this has that. Both have red brakes, but they look so good next to each other. Both have the same hood, by the way, which is like the red eye hood. One is tinted, one isn't. Both have red interior, and they just look so good next to each other. All right, boys, let's get out of this heat. We need some AC in here. So anyways, uh, we're gonna take both of the cars home, park them in the garage where they're safe, and then probably go out for some burgers because I'm hungry. So I think we should properly break this car in. All right. Now that's how you properly break a Helka in. Actually, do not do a pull if you only have 15 miles on your car. Don't be an idiot like me. So why don't we race both Hellcats? Go. Woo! I just got gapped by my own Hellcat. That's not bad. There's a girl driving that Hellcat and she knows what she's doing. So we made it back home. We got the new Hellcat here. We got the Hellcat that I already had. And we also got the GT500 back here. This thing is so dirty, but just look at how beautiful the stance is. I also put these new Weld Racing wheels. They're 18 by 10. We got the 305 Mickeys on there. I don't know if you guys watched the video where I installed them. It was quite a headache to install these, but we got this here. We got the new Hellcat, and I don't know what I'm gonna do with this new Hellcat. Give me some ideas. If you guys are wondering why I bought another Hellcat, I really don't know. I ordered it about three months ago, and it showed up, and I was like, F it, why not? Let me go grab it. So now we have one Hellcat and two Hellcats. So we got two Hellcats and a GT500. I really want a Corvette. I just haven't found a good deal. So I'm still looking for a Z06, a C7. That's kind of what I want because I want the newer technology. I don't want to go with the C6 because it's just very outdated. It's a sexy car, but it's a little outdated. So with that being said, I'm gonna let you guys go. Leave a like, leave a comment with your thoughts on the new Hellcat. Let me know what you guys want to see out of this Hellcat and I will see you guys on the next video. Peace out.